Are you looking for a work from home job that you can do with no degree? Well, you've come to the right place because we're gonna be going over seven actual work from home jobs that me and my team have vetted to make sure that they're really good. And we're gonna be going over a lot of other valuable information that's gonna help you land the job. So if you appreciate us doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping the like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be an entertainment media marketing specialist. So if you're an entertainment junkie with a knack for marketing, this might be the perfect position for you. Also known as a media content coordinator, this position oversees the day-to-day -day operations of entertainment and media products, from screening content to promoting offerings to a target audience. And these box office alchemists transform entertainment properties into commercial successes. And they do this by using strategic marketing initiatives. Now, a fun example of this is movie trailers. And the first ever movie marketed using a trailer was a 1913 musical called The Pleasure Seekers. But today you would use a wide range of different digital platforms to promote things like movies, TV shows, and music. And content media coordinators at the entry level make about 43 dollars to $61,000 a year. Now you don't need a college degree or previous experience typically to get into this role, but some courses or training online that you could take that would help you land the job would be the Digital Career Blueprint by my friend Seth. Really good course, has helped tons of people get jobs. I'll put that down in the description in the pinned comment below. Also the Coursera Digital Marketing Specialization and just making a portfolio in general is gonna help you tremendously. And that means doing projects on your own in order to learn. Now, another position you could get into would be a digital marketing analyst and they make about 58 to $98,000 a year. Another similar position would be a content strategist. They make about 68 to $109,000 a year. And then down the line, you could become a senior marketing specialist. They make about 93 to $151,000 a year. So overall, I do like this one. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next, I've got a really fun one for you, and this is a new career that you've probably never heard about, which is a TikTok anchor or a TikTok live host. And it's not just TikTok, you can do this on other platforms, but this is something where companies are actually hiring quite a bit of people to do it. Now, in some cases, you may be showing off different types of fashion products, so you'd basically be trying on different fashion products, and then if someone likes the way that it looks, they can actually buy it using TikTok shop, or on the other platforms, they'd be using maybe Shopify. Also, in some cases, you may be telling the news live as well. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can get hired for this in all kinds of different companies out there. But they are finding that they get a lot of reach when they go live. So you might as well have somebody going live all the time. And TikTok live hosts that are employed make about 40 to $67,000 a year. And of course you could do this working for a company, you could do it freelancing, or you could just start your own business. Something very similar to this would be a social media influencer. They make about 51 to $95,000 a year. A lot of companies are hiring people to do this as well. I remember when I was around 10 to 30K subscribers, someone actually offered me $800 per video for me to actually make videos for their company. And that was when I was just a small YouTuber. There are a lot of opportunities to do this. Next is gonna be an online shopping manager. This is another relatively similar one, especially if you're selling physical products and they make around 71 to $126,000 a year. So overall, I really like this one. A few bad things about it or potentially bad things about it is one, you do have to be able to kind of turn it on. You have to be a little bit more high energy typically when you're on camera. But if you think you're an introvert and you can't do that, well, guess what? I'm an introvert and I'm able to do it. So you can probably do it too. And also your income may fluctuate based on sales performance. So a lot of the time you are going to get some of your income based on how many sales you make. But overall, I like this one. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And like I said before, you don't have to do this just on TikTok. You can do it on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, etc. And if you really want to make content on the best platform, the most profitable platform, you should probably do it on YouTube. And I've actually coached a bunch of people how to make money on YouTube. And if you want some free training on exactly how you can do that, check the link in the description and the pinned comment below. Next, let's talk about e-commerce after sales, also known as an e-commerce customer experience coordinator. And if you're somebody who loves online retail and online shopping, this might be an amazing opportunity for you because basically you're gonna be handling returns, exchanges, repairs, and all kinds of different customer issues to ensure a seamless online shopping experience. And just like a skilled tailor when something breaks, in this position, you're going to stitch together solutions to keep customers satisfied and loyal. And there's a really good quote by this guy, Donald Porter, who's a pretty high level executive. And he says, customers don't expect you to be perfect, but they do expect you to fix things when they go wrong. And so it's incredibly important for an e-commerce brand to make sure that everything goes smoothly for the customer. And a really interesting fact here is the first commercial transaction made over the internet was in 1979 and involved the sale of a Sting album from a company called NetMarket. So that's pretty cool. And in e-commerce after sales, you can make about 35 to $54,000 a year. 
And remember, this is an entry level job and it does lead to better jobs down the line. For instance, customer experience specialists make about 42 to $61,000 a year. And then customer success managers make around 101 to $172,000 a year. So those are some similar jobs or jobs that you could go into down the line once you have more experience. This one's really good, doesn't have too many downsides. I'd say the pay is a little bit low, but again, you're starting off from complete scratch. You don't have any experience. It doesn't require a college degree, so you can't really complain too much. And on top of it, you're getting paid to learn in-demand skills, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And because of the fact that it is related to sales, even though it's e-commerce sales, I did wanna bring up that if you do want to get into sales, a really good job to get into would be business development representative and a really good industry to work in would be the technology industry. And if you wanna have some free training on how to get into that remote sales position in the easiest possible way and also as quickly as possible, check out the description and the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a contact center specialist. And this is a remote job where you help people navigate the sometimes confusing world of, well, everything. Everything. So you can put your friendly voice, positive personality, and quick wits to work. And as a contact center specialist, you'll be answering questions, resolving issues, and making sure every customer that calls feels happy and supported. And an interesting fact about this one is the longest customer service call on record lasted 10 hours and 43 minutes, and it was handled by a Zappos representative named Steven, who chatted with the customer about vacations and restaurants after helping with their order. And contact center specialists make about 44 to $60,000 a year. So it's not bad money. Now, some similar jobs you could either go into right away or in some cases you could go into down the line are going to be a contact center team lead. They make forty-seven dollars to $68,000 a year. A training and development specialist, they make about sixty-eight dollars to $104,000 a year. Or a customer success manager that we talked about before, they make about one dollars to $172,000 a year. But overall, this one's not bad. A lot of people talk down on these types of jobs, but they're a really good way to get your foot in the door in the remote job industry. And also this is one of the better customer service type jobs. Jobs, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment down below some of the jobs that you liked, the ones you didn't like, or ones that I should have put on the list and I didn't. I always like to hear people's feedback and there's a good chance it'll make it into a future video. Next is gonna be a YouTube thumbnail editor or just working on YouTube in general. So there's actually a lot of jobs that are opening up if you want to work for YouTubers. One really good website to check out is ytjobs.co and here you can get hired for full-time jobs or sometimes get hired for freelance jobs as well. And the difference between, let's say, a 6% click-through rate and an 8% click-through rate on YouTube could mean the difference between a video that gets 100,000 views and a video that gets 10 million views. So you can see why it's so important to hire the best when it comes to creating thumbnails. And thumbnail designers make about 54 to $89,000 a year. So if you're somebody who spent a lot of time on YouTube and you kind of just understand how the platform works, this could be a phenomenal opportunity for you. Now, there's a lot of other careers you could go into if you have these skills or other types of YouTube skills. For instance, graphic designer, they make about 48 to $78,000 a year. Digital marketing managers, they make about 84 to $146,000 a year. And creative directors, especially creative directors on YouTube, they make about 103 to $193,000 a year. And if you wanna learn more about YouTube, and especially if you wanna start your own YouTube channel, I do have a live training, which I do once a week, where I basically go over different aspects of how you can grow a successful YouTube business. So not just getting views and subscribers, although getting views and subscribers is important, but actually making money from YouTube. How exactly do you do that? And you can check out that live training. I put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. So yeah, this is really good. YouTube related careers are getting better and better. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be a technology support specialist. Are you tired of explaining to your grandma how to unmute herself on Zoom and not getting paid for it? Well, you can put your tech savviness to good use in this position. As a technology support specialist, you'll provide technical support to customers, sometimes also provide technical support to people in your company, troubleshoot issues, and ensure that computer systems run smoothly. And just like a mechanic that keeps a vehicle's engine humming, you'll keep technology systems in top shape for your company and their customers. Now this is actually a very easy job to land at the entry level, and you can land remote jobs or non-remote jobs. And technology support specialists make about 51 to $77,000 a year. A few really good resources for different courses you could take would be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Course Careers also has a really good training for getting into IT. If I can remember, I'll put those down in the description in the pinned comment below. And and some other related career paths you could go into would be a senior support specialist. They make about 56 to $89,000 a year. 
a system administrator, they make about sixty-eight to one hundred eight thousand dollars a year. A support manager, they make about sixty-seven to one hundred fifteen thousand dollars a year. So as you see, there's a lot of other career paths you can go into down the line once you get your foot in the door and you get some entry-level experience. Now, some negatives or downsides of this one is sometimes companies may require that you're in person. But with that being said, this is a phenomenal career. I've seen so many people get entry-level jobs in this one, and they didn't need a college degree, didn't need previous experience, etc. I'm gonna give this one a nine point five out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, share this video with a friend who needs to see it, someone who needs to get a job, maybe a family member, whoever you think would benefit from watching the video, definitely share it with them because that's how we grow the channel. And that's how we spread the love. Next is going to be a quality assurance specialist. And this is going to be for you if you're a detail oriented champion of problem solving for customers. And basically in this position, you're going to analyze customer interactions, you're going to identify areas of improvement, and then you're going to help to boost the overall customer satisfaction of the company. So you're almost like a detective that's unraveling the mystery of what problems your customers have all the time and exactly how you can help them with those problems. And quality assurance specialists make about 50 to $78,000 a year. Now, in some cases, depending on the company you work for, it might help to have a little bit of a technical background. And the reason for that is because in some cases, you're actually going to be making recommendations on what to change in the company's website or the software itself. But some jobs that are very similar to this would be a customer experience manager. They make 69 to $111,000 a year, or a quality assurance manager, they make 80 to $140,000 a year, or a training manager, they make 88 to $152,000 a year. But overall, I really like this one. I'm going to give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. By the way, if you're interested in alternative education and getting into jobs without having to get a college degree or pay for an expensive boot camp, I did make a video on the 11 of the highest paying certifications that can actually help you to land a job. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.